Hello there. Behind me is our Nissan Promera P12, and today it is exactly 17 years old. Now my partner, also behind me, suggested we should mark this a monumental milestone by throwing it a birthday party. But I said, no, that's ridiculous. Nobody throws a birthday party for a car. That's it, it's not happening, end of subject. Oh yes we do. It's a monumental birthday. He's 17, he can learn to drive now. So anyway, we're having a party. Welcome to Cast by TV. What have you done to the car? Um, I've just dressed him up for the occasion, so a little bit of a happy birthday banner here. <laughs> as you can see, fluttering in the breeze, we've got a few flags oh, You've got as bunting well. around the other side. Yeah. Hang on, let's have a look. Oh, you have as well? Yeah, and I've inv invited a few guests as well. So we've got a few ponies, we've got Diesel Dog. Diesel Dog, various horses. Yeah. Some more and, over there in the distance. And yeah. afternoon tea. Ta-da! Hang on, hang on. Have you bought a cake for the car? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> you have a cake for a car. And we've got the mugs and a nice pot of tea there. Oh, Batman mug, no less. Yeah, and a penguin mug for me. Okay. Yeah, and uh, yeah, something a little bit healthy as well, because, you know, obviously crisps, cake and and bread, you know, have a little bit of something healthy. Well, the and, dog looks uh, interested. Yeah, he'll be interested hey, in where it. where are you going? Where's your ball? Straight through the puddle. <laughs> <laughs> He's having a whale of a time. See, parties are a good idea. What's all this? Right, well, I thought we can't have a birthday. You can't have a birthday party without a birthday present. You bought a present for the car? <laughs> As I recall, you completely forgot my last birthday. <laughs> <laughs> well, it wasn't as important as this, was it? It, it wasn't my 17th, no. Oh, no, no, no. And I thought, you know, you've been going on around um, saying that uh, this part on the car isn't particularly very good at the moment. So I You'll thought... have to narrow it down a bit. It's done a lot of miles, this car. So <laughs> there are quite a few bits that aren't as good as they were. Well... You know, there, there's a certain back end part that's not very good. <laughs> the bumper. <laughs> that's going to be <laughs> no, a very the bumper small looks bumper. Beautiful. Um, it's nothing to do with the lights. Oh, shall we have a look then? Yeah, do you want to have a look? All right. Okay. What have we got? Could be anything in there. It, it looks a bit be, like a. Could be anything. A bit like a truncheon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've given her ideas now, haven't <laughs> I? You've given me very good ideas. Get back! <laughs> right, okay. Oh, hang on, I'll give you a hand. Yeah, yeah. give me Ready? a hand, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, now that is exactly what we do need, gas struts for the tailgate. Yeah. Well, so, uh, I thank you on the car's behalf. Well, that's all right. I know you've been uh, saying for a little while now that they're there getting go. a little bit uh, sloppy, so... Um... Sloppy. I don't, I don't think I've ever used the word sloppy <laughs> in relation to the tailgate <laughs> struts of a Nissan Primera P12. Well, you've been worried about them falling onto your head, or more importantly, my head. Your head. So, yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah. We can sword fight now as well. We can. Bah, bah, bah. Ah, ah, ah. Actually, let's go and have a look at that, because you're quite right, the tailgate struts on the car, as of now, are not very good. So here's the problem. I open the tailgate and it should fire all the way to the top, but as you can see, it just wants to go back down. But it's not completely knackered. They will go up eventually. But the problem is they tend to go from being weak to being completely knackered. I've had this in the past with other cars where they all of a sudden you're under the tailgate and it just comes down like this at 90 miles an hour. And if we have to be standing under here at the time, well, that's going to hurt because that's a big heavy piece of metal and a big heavy piece of glass. So yes, I think good decision of yours to buy some new tailgate struts. Yeah, I think so too. Okay, we could fit them now actually, but we won't because I haven't got a screwdriver. And we have cake to eat. Oh, we have cake to eat. <laughs> we'll get to the cake. Don't worry about that. I can see it. Hello. Is it melting? No, it's all right actually. Oh, good, good. Yeah, okay. Has the dog got it? <laughs> <laughs> Another 10 seconds and you might. Leave the cake alone, dog. Yeah, see? There he is. There he is. We'll let you back out in a minute, okay? Okay, guys. Well, this is a strong cup of tea. <laughs> I think three tea bags might have been just a little bit... Um... It is a bit like drinking tar, I'll be honest <laughs> with you. <laughs> oh, well, keep us going. Nice and warm. My father will sort of put hairs on your chest, but... 
<laughs> Who wants hairs on yeah, their chest? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. Well, I do have to say, though, I am surprised you haven't actually bought the car a birthday present. She's trying to guilt trip me now. Yeah. Well, I suppose technically what I could say yeah. is that I have, in a couple of days' time, booked a service for it. A full professional service with a proper mechanic and that's a bit like taking it to a spa. I was going to say, does it get a massage with that as well? <laughs> i tell you what though, I noticed this the other day, this is how you know when your car is getting old. Hang on a minute. I've got the service book in the car because as I say it's going in imminently. Where's it gone? Did you see it? I think it's the door card isn't it? Uh, yes, I think that's where you put it. Oh yep, yep, yep. Mm. Okay, so... <laughs> The car's getting older, right? And we can tell. Hello, dog. Right, so Diesel. obviously a service book has got lots of little squares in it. And every time the car's serviced, the mechanic puts a rubber stamp in to prove the work's been done. Yeah. And we only have here one square left, <laughs> and that's going to be filled up in the next couple of days. Wow. That is a long service history. <laughs> Think how much money we've spent maintaining this car over the years. Yeah, and there's probably going to be lots more as well. But it does mean we've either got to buy a new service book or a new car. What do you reckon? What do you reckon? Let us know in the comment section. Yeah, let us know. That'd be interesting, wouldn't it? New car or new service book? It's definitely going to be cheaper to get a new service book. Well, I don't know. Easier. The price of petrol at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this car is very thirsty. It now costs just over £100 to fill the tank if it's completely empty, which is just... Horrible. I'm going to push it out the car park later. Yeah, we're going to get diesel to pull it like a sled, aren't we? <laughs> That's a good idea. A very good idea. Some horses over there as well. I tell you what, though. Yeah. It is booked in just for a sort of standard service, oil filter, all those bits and pieces. But mm. I didn't actually check and should do whether it actually needs some new brake fluid. Ah, well, that's a very important part. Yes, well, that could be done at the same time if it needs it. I've got a machine, actually. It might be in here somewhere with all my various bits and pieces. We can see now. Oh, yeah. We could test the brake fluid and see if it actually needs replacing. And if so, I'll give the garage a call and get them to do that as well. Yeah, can I, uh, can I help with that? Yeah. Cool. I'm just going to finish my uh, strong brew. Um, yeah. <laughs> Brave. I know. Hang on. Oh, yes. Right? You're right. Okay, okay. <laughs> Yeah, we're lucky you do have the machine. Oh, excellent. Yeah, so we can test your brake fluid. Okay. And then uh, it tells us whether or not it needs to be replaced. So, right then. So why are we having to replace fluid if, it, uh, if this machine tells us otherwise? Oh, okay. Well, if you brake hard and for a long time, your brake fluid can literally boil. And in that scenario, of course, it's very difficult to stop the car. Now, when brake fluid is new, it has a very high boiling point, but over time, it absorbs water from the atmosphere and that lowers the boiling point and makes it more likely you'll have difficulty stopping the car. What machines like this do is they tell you what percentage of water your brake fluid contains, and if it's got, say, 3 or 4%, according to this machine anyway, that would indicate that it's good, it's good to replace it now. Right, OK, so if I'm going down a big, big hill, what you're saying is if I keep my brakes on for a long period of time it can have a big effect on my brake fluid. If you've got bad brake fluid in that scenario, but which I mean it's got a lot of water in it, it's yeah. more likely to boil than brand new fluid. Right. That's what I'm saying. Okay. And that's why, you know, at the bottom of a big steep hill sometimes, yeah. at least here in the United Kingdom, you see those big runoff areas? Yeah. Well, that's why. All oh, right, okay. So far <laughs> better to replace the brake fluid if it needs it. And this machine will tell us if it does. So you want, do you want to do that? Yeah, let's go and have a go. All right. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I've got the machine here and I've got some tissue um, because obviously after it's been in the reservoir, we don't want to be getting any uh, fluid onto the paintwork. No, brake fluid is nasty stuff. It can certainly damage the paintwork. Absolutely. Right. And uh, we're going to go and have a look at the reservoir. So on here, this is our brake fluid reservoir. We've got dot four. Indeed we do. So when we start at the machine in a moment, we're going to be choosing the dot four here. Yeah, because you can also have dot three and dot, is that 5.1? Yeah, yeah. 5.1 for different uh, different types of brake fluid. Okie dokie, right, so let's go on in. So let's take that lid off. Uh -huh. Right, and we do have a filter in here. So we're just going to pull 
that out. You got it. See, yeah, the little filter there. Not really good. Right, so I'm just going to turn the machine on. Okay. And uh, you can see it's got all the numbers there ready to go, and we're on dot four. Good. All right. The battery's a bit low. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay, right. Well, let's get this in here then. All right. So you put the probe into the brake fluid reservoir, yeah. like so. The probe is in there. And do we have a reading? We do indeed. Let's have a look. What does it say? Can you read that? It says... It's about 2.5. The camera's having trouble focusing on that. Oh, there we go. Is that just under 2.5? Yeah, you say? about 2. Okay, so the, that would indicate to me the brake fluid is past its first flush of use, but it isn't nonetheless terrible, so there's no need to rush to replace it. No, right, let's wipe the end off there. Replace the filter and the car. Yeah, I'll leave you to do that. Oh, okay. You can sort out the car, because it's such a beautiful day. I'll just go for a walk. Look how glorious this part of the country is. Absolutely beautiful. She could do the work. Horses. I wonder where the dog's gone. You know, when I started Car Spy TV, I didn't expect to ever be sitting in a car with a birthday cake and four candles lit for it. <laughs> well, but there you go. There you go. These things happen. Can't have a birthday without birthday cake. And look, dinosaur candles, no less. Mm -hmm. Very mm -hmm. groovy. And chocolate. Yeah, which is probably why you bought it, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, I mean, what more could you want? She does love her chocolate. Well, then, do you want to blow the candles up? All right, then. Happy birthday. Nicely done. Yay. And unfortunately now we're going to have to try the cake. Yeah. Which I know is what you've been dreading for the whole day. I know. I just, oh, I don't think I can do it. Oh, well, I'll take it away then. <laughs> See you next time. See you next time. <laughs> Go on then, let's have a bite. Go on then. Right. I think it's melted a little bit in the sun. I'm not surprised. It's, it's warm out there. Okay, I'll, wind. I'll try a little bit as well. Mmm. There we go. How is it? I swear she can't talk because you're eating. Oh, she can't talk because she's eating. <laughs> oh, do you it's want very some? nice. This wouldn't be very good for you, dog. No. Because it's chocolate. But we'll give you some biscuits when you get home. Yeah. I'm sorry, mate. It's chocolate. Chocolate's <laughs> not good for dogs. What a bit. I'll eat your bit for you. <laughs> very oh. nice. Hmm. It's all not, right, that. It tastes a bit like a Jaffa cake. Hmm. Doesn't it? Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. It's got a slightly orangey tint to it. Mm. Yeah, I like that. Good. Okay, well... I think we've probably done enough mad, crazy things today, celebrating the birthday of a car. Yeah, we need to take this dog for a walk, because, uh, take his mind off cake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, he already had a bit of a walk, but I think we'll do, we'll go over that side. We I took him so. that way, yeah. just before we started filming, but yeah. we'll take him that side this time. I think so. Give him a bit of a run, come back, eat the rest of this cake, and then who knows what we'll get up to in the next video. Probably something quite a bit saner, <laughs> I would imagine. Sane? Us? No. <laughs> so, thank you for watching. Thank you. And don't forget to subscribe, click like. And comment. Indeed. All the good things. Yes, all those things help the channel grow, which is, which is what we want. Yeah, and so, we love hearing from you as well, don't we? We do indeed. Right, that's all. All right. See you next time. See you next time. Bye. Bye.